2022, the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office wants to give you the chance to have better protection for your property and also a better chance of getting some stolen property of yours back. It's a trailer identification program, and the great news, it is completely free to you. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli. She has been live at the Sheriff's Office all morning. Christine, this is so convenient. Yes, absolutely. It's not going to take you very long on Saturday, but it is just this Saturday coming up. So August 19th, mark this in your calendar right now. Get your smartphone out 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Bring your trailer, utility trailer, any type of trailer like you see right here. The sheriff's office is going to mark it with a very specific number. They want to create a database here that's going to help if your trailer happens to be stolen, which they've seen an uptake recently, they can hopefully get it back to you fairly quickly. So first of all, can we just maybe we have a couple tips on how to protect your trailer, Sergeant Wilkie, just in the first place. Well, the biggest thing is just, uh, you know, you can use trailer locks, you can chain it to something, some fix, uh, fixture on your property. Sure. Anything you can do to just, just make it difficult to steal. You know, most, most suspects are looking for an easy target, something that they can just pull up, grab it, and go really, really easily. Again, you've seen maybe around 350 or so of these in the past year and a half, a little bit before that. So they do happen. However, you do recover them, but there's an issue there. People don't always know their VIN number. That's true. Yeah, most recoveries we've seen are, are people that have provided VIN numbers in the past. A low percentage of people provide those. Really? So what we're trying to do here is just create a database, like you said, with the current VIN and also apply a second number. Um, that will help us easily identify an owner's trailer and get it back to them as soon as possible. Very good. On Saturday, there people are going to pull up, be able to get this done in about 20 minutes. It's all because of some equipment that was donated? Yes, ma'am. This is from the National Insurance Crime Bureau. They, uh, they wrote us a check to purchase the equipment that uh, does a quick engraving. Very, uh, very small. Doesn't, doesn't create a lot of damage or anything like that. Do people need to bring their VIN number or anything like that? Anything they need to bring with them? No, ma'am. If they have paperwork, it would be nice to save us some time on trying to find the VIN number yeah. on the trailer. But uh, we understand people have homemade trailers and things of that nature that may not have a VIN. Any kind of trailer, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. this Saturday, we're going to get a demonstration, sure. Sergeant. If you want to go ahead and show that off, you're not going to be able to hear me, guys. So you can go ahead and take this. But this is Saturday. I say that works. Yes, <laughs> very precise. Good stuff there, Christine. Thank you. Of course, you know, if we go through police reports every day and we oh, see so all kinds of reports of stolen trailers. Mm -hmm. Good program there. Got to color your weather photo. Yeah.